Consider the function g of x equals 5x minus 3 plus 1 over x squared. x is not equal to 0. x greater than or equal to negative 2 less than or equal to 5. We do know x equals 0 is uh, the vertical asymptote line. 1. Find uh, its a gradient of function. For the gradient of function, we need to change this into single power. That is uh, x to the negative second power because 1 over x to the nth power equals x to the negative nth power. So we have a g prime of x equals 5x prime minus 3 prime plus x to the negative second power prime. Use the power rule of a derivative equals n times x to the n minus 1th power. So we have a 5 minus 0 plus drop down negative 2. Then x to the negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3rd power. Simplify 5 minus 2 times 1 over x 3rd power. Simplify again. 5 minus 2 over x to the third power. Second one, find all the stationary points by the first derivative function. g prime of x equals 0, which means 5 minus 2 over x to the third power equals 0. By graphing, So we go to y1, 5 minus alpha y equals 2 over x to the third power. Then graph only one x intercept, second trace, 0. We know x equals 0 is the asymptote line. Move the cursor to the left side of the x-intercept. Enter. Then move the cursor to the right side of this x-intercept. Enter. Enter. x equals 0 0.737 as a 3 sig fix. We need to figure out g of 0 0.737 equals. We need to put the original function into y2. 5x minus 3 plus alpha y equals enter. 1 divided by x squared. Quit. Then alpha trace go to y2. Remember, y2 is the original function. You can put this down. Enter. Get 2.53. Or you can just plug in the 3 sig fix. You will get the same answer. We have only one stationary point for this uh, function. 0 0.737, 2.53. 3. Classify all the stationary points. 0 0.737, x, g prime of x. 0 0.737, this is 0. 0 0.737 minus 0 0.1. 0 0.737 plus 0 0.1. We will substitute uh, the values into g prime of x. In your calculator, remember 
y1 is a derivative of function. So we go to alpha trace y1 parentheses 0 0.737 minus 0 0.1. Enter. It's a negative. Pull this down. Then change minus into plus. Enter. We get positive number. This is negative. This is a positive. Then we can draw the diagram. Negative means a decreasing function. Positive means a increasing function. So we could say there is a local minimum at x equals 0 0.737. So 0 0.737, 2.53, 53 is the local minimum point. Or you can write down 2.53 is the local minimum value. You also can write down local minimum at x equals 0 0.737. Any of these three forms will be good. Let's go to 5. Find the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing. We will go to derivative of function. Remember, y1 is the derivative function, y2 is the original function. So unhighlight this y2 graph. Above x axis is a positive, below x axis is a negative. Then remember, x is not equal to 0. From this graph, we could draw the sign diagram to figure out intervals for increasing and a decreasing function. We know this point is a 0 0.737. Vertical asymptote line. You have to draw this asymptote line in the sign diagram. This is a 0 then 0 0.737. Above x-axis is a positive. Below x-axis is negative, then positive. This is negative infinity, positive infinity. From negative infinity to 0, union 0 0.737, positive infinity. G of x is uh, increasing. Interval from 0 to 0 0.737. G of x is uh, decreasing.